Hey guys, we're back. Uh, this should be a pretty quick video. Um, we're in the process of building up support classes and stuff for our network training class. Um, and the one we're going to build right now is a permutator class. And all it's going to do is going to be a class that shuffles around indices of an integer array. Um, because what happens is when you train neural networks uh, on the same data set in the same order every time, they sort of tend to converge to the stuff at the beginning of the training data set earlier. Um, if for no other reason than our momentum term starts heading in that direction um, and maybe, you know, possibly converges sooner. Um, <coughs> and so what this will do is this will be just an easy little thing that will let us uh, shuffle around the indices so we train the data set in a different order every single time we iterate through all of the data points and uh, that will help keep all of our convergence hopefully nice and uniform uh, and random so let's go to our network trainer class we're going to create a brand new oops my caps lock is on public class permutator I want that to be capitalized okay Let's create a private integer array called index, which that will hold a, uh, an array of indices, essentially. Let's create a public void permute method. Again, that should be capitalized, where you pass in an integer n times, let's say. So I don't know if, if you've taken abstract algebra, but long and short of it that we need for this is that all permutations on any any collection of n objects uh, can be broken down into a finite number of swaps of two individual things uh, two of the individual items in the permutation so all we're going to do is we're going to create some integers i j and t and we're going to go like this for n equals one two n times Whoops. Wow, sorry, that is the wrong wrong language. So for int n equals zero, n is less than n times n plus plus. Uh, we're gonna do the following. Oh, you know what? Sorry, one more thing. We're gonna need a random number generator so we can randomize these things. So let's do this. Um, private random call it gen equals new random like that I'm gonna need that to generate random numbers sorry about that okay so we have integers i j and t i and j are gonna be the indices t is the temp value so I can swap the values of i and j in the index um, and we're gonna do the following so i equals <coughs> gen dot next and I want to use uh, index dot length okay so this will return a random number between 0 and 1 less than this argument uh, which is all the indices of this integer array index um, and so that will pick out a random entry we'll do the exact same thing for j equals gen dot next index dot length like so then if i is not equal to j then I'm gonna actually be doing a swap so let's do it t equals index of i uh, index of i equals index of j and index of j equals t uh, just like that okay so that'll swap them um, let's create a permutator uh, constructor wow that's going horribly permutator sorry wow what is going on public permutator where they pass in an uh, integer let's call it size <coughs> and so what we need to do is dimension index equals new integer array of size size and then we need to initialize all the entries so for int i equals zero i is less than size i plus plus let's say that index of i equals i 
Okay, so that'll initialize everything from zero up to one less than size. And then before we do anything else, let's permute. And I guess I need to give it a number of items. So let's just say size. So what will happen is if I create this on, let's say, 10 objects, if I'm doing it for an integer array of size 10, so I'll, I'll initialize this index here. It'll have the number 0 through 9 in it. And I'll swap out um, 10 random pairs of entries, as long as I didn't accidentally pick the same entry. Um, and in that case, I don't change it at all, because, hey, it's random. And the last thing I want is an indexer. So let's do it like this public int this of integer i um, has a get method that works like this. We return index of i. Okay. So what this lets me do is it lets me refer to an instance of permutator um, square bracket a uh, index lowercase i and it returns this entry from our private index array. All right, so hopefully that is good to go. So let's run back to our program here, which I've, of course, cleared out. Let's try it. Permutator, uh, let's call it uh, idx equals new permutator on 10 things, okay? So for int i equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. Let's do the following console dot right line <coughs> uh, space and then our first entry. And this is going to be um, idx of i. Okay. So the indexer lets us do this. idx is an instance of my permutator class, and I can just use the array notation to access whatever this class decides to return, which is my hopefully permuted list of uh, numbers. So let's hit F5 and run it. Oh, there it is. 86127395504. That sounds pretty random. Sorry, let me change this from right line to just right. That way they're all in the line. Do it again. 89635104271. Uh, let's do it again. 0615342798. Awesome. All right, cool. So it seems like it's working. Um, and then I think at least for our, our base class for the network trainer, this is all the stuff we're going to need. Um, so that will be coming next. All right, later.